you start the three times for the Yazada whose honor we are doing it. So it is Aura Mazda. So three times we pray for Aura Mazda. Then you pray twice for uh, three times for all the 28 uh, Yazadas from Ormaz Bamman all the way to uh, Zamyan. And then two times for Maris Pananayan. And that makes it like 91 times again. So this is how this is prescribed in our uh, Bandirad as well as in the Rivayats from the learned dastus of Iran when we requested them how to do something like that. You can then think about this whole thing, how do they do it? So here is the purification part of it. First you collect it. And in collecting also, you do the same kind of thing as purification. When you collect it, as especially the one from the burning corpse, the fire is supposed to be not a pure one. It is what we call riman or naso. So in that way, you take a perforated ladle with the powder sandalwood in it, about 12 to 15 inches, and let the fire from the main fire pit ignite this one without touching it. This is how they start the fire. After you take that fire, you can, uh, keep it going. Then you do the same thing by putting another uh, a heap of uh, sandalwood powder and let the, uh, this fire be igniting the fire from the first one by fanning on it or by wind. And this is how the fires are collected 91 times, one after another. It, originally, it used to be done in 91 pits, as you see the left-hand side of this uh, 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 a slide. Whereas later on, you can do it by using the forganus also, as you saw in the right-hand side. Laborious process. So the consecration then requires that after you collect the fire 91 times in a purification stage, you bring it to uh, by the two dusters in a uh, area where you can cre uh, perform yajashna and vandida, and then you have the two people with the barashnum, as they call it, the holy state. They take a portion of this fire that is purified <coughs> and perform a yajashna and a vandida on it, and this is done 91 times, believe it or not. And you can only do one Vandidat per day because Vandidat is done in the night. And I am on the next slide, number 11, that uh, 1,128 recitals, if there is only one pair of the mob it's used for it, it will take 37 to 38 months to finish it. This is unbelievable. So, of course, you know, they employ more than one pair. And for the last Atash Behram, it took almost one year to do this 1,128 consecration steps. It just gives you mind-boggling in today's day that they have done something like this. So, I'm on number 12. So, I have now 16 fires purified, collected, purified, and consecrated. Now we have to unite them together. So what they do, they bring all the 16 fires, and then the first fire, the one from the burning corpse, they take a small portion, put it in a main, bigger, a forganium, and then they bring the other 15 one of them by praying certain prayers, and then they unite this one. Now I'm on the next slide, number 13. And then after uniting, they do three consecutive days of Vandida and Yajashne again in the Kshnuman of Sarosha. Sarosh is our Yazata that we usually use for this kind of thing. And there after the first three days, they do 30 more Vandidas and Yasnas in the name of 30 Yazatars of our calendar from Hormuz to Anneran. And so on the last day, when the final consecration is done, the enthronement ceremony will be started. So this then is completing 
the process of consecrating the Atashbaram fire, which is now ready to be enthroned in the Sanctum Sanctorum. So for doing that, we have to first consecrate the fire temple building itself. To do that, the chamber in which we are going to enthrone the uh, Atashbaram is completely washed three times. And then there are three days of ceremony again of Yasna and Vandidat in the name of Sarosha. And then at the, on the final day, the last but uh, final enthronement, I'm slide number 15, uh, the day is fixed. And in the case of Anjuman Atasbaram, the last Atasbaram consecrated in 1897, there were something like overflowing crowds of 10 to 15,000 people. And the fire that is consecrated then is taken by the two priests and they, they lead the whole procession, but the priests go from one pavi. Pavi is the one that demarcation that you see in all over our Atashbaram Gyaris, so that they are the only ones in the pavi and then the other people follow them. This is to separate the holy fire from everybody. They carry this one into the uh, sacred sanctum sanctorum and then uh, I am on number 16. The final enthronement then uh, is performed by putting the fire on the major aferganyu or censer. And then the head priest, usually the dastur of the Atashbera, then performs the Atash Nyayas. And then after the Atash Nyayas, the Atash is uh, kind of enthroned on this. And then they go outside in the main hall and do a Jashan ceremony of the three Afghan and Sarosh, Dham and Sarosh, and that finishes the whole enthronement of the sacred Atashbaram fire. Now you will say how long it takes. The, it takes, uh, we will talk some more about that for later on, but here are the seven uh, steps of the summary on, uh, I am on slide number 17. And it is taking that kind of time. And as I mentioned before, after 1897, when the last Atashbaram was enthroned in Anjuman Atashbaram in Dobitalao, no other Atashbaram has been enthroned afterwards. Now these are the 10 Atashbarams that we have all over the world. I am on slide number 18 with the 10 photographs. Uh, does everybody recognize the Atash Behrams in that? I want to first mention that I was very lucky to be in Iran in 2006 and many of the photographs I have taken are in this presentation. Of course, upper left hand corner is Sharifabad Atash Behram, 